Go through, go through the gates, prepare the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. The Word of God not only sets forth the great principles of truth and duty which should govern our lives, but it presents also, for our encouragement, the history of many who have exemplified these principles. Except the one perfect pattern, there is not described in the sacred pages a single character more worthy of emulation than that of the prophet Daniel. Exposed in youth to all the allurements of a royal court, he became a man of unbending integrity and fervent devotion to God. He was subjected to the fierce temptations of Satan, yet his character was not vacillating, nor his course changeable. He was firm where many would be yielding, he was true where they would be false, he was strong where they would be weak. Daniel was a lofty cedar of Lebanon. Would that the faith, integrity, and devotion of the prophet Daniel might live in the hearts of God's people of today. Never were these noble qualities more needed in the world than now. In the records of those who have done and suffered for the name of Jesus, there is no name that shines with a brighter or purer luster than the name of Paul, the Apostle to the Gentiles. The love of Jesus, glowing in his heart, made him self-forgetful, self-denying. He had seen the risen Christ, and the Savior's image was impressed upon his soul, and shone forth in his life. With faith, courage, and fortitude, that would not be daunted by danger or stayed by obstacles. He pressed his way from land to land to spread the knowledge of the cross. Are the professed followers of Christ thus exemplifying the principles of their faith? Where are the deep, living, holy experiences which men of God were wont to recount? Has the standard of Christianity been lowered? No, that standard remains just where God placed it. Holy men of ages past were required to give up all for Christ, to cherish His Spirit, and to imitate His example. Nothing less than this will He accept now. When called to give up all for Christ, who will stand the test?